Hi, sweet friends, welcome back. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Amy and welcome. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to bring you along as I decorate our powder room as well as our guest bathroom. I like to decorate these areas for fall as well and just carry that cozy feeling throughout our home. Now, sometimes the bathrooms can be a little bit difficult to decorate, especially with all the cute sayings for fall, like gather together, but for your bathroom, I tend to want to stay away from those odd sayings. So I hope to give you tons of inspiration that you can use to decorate your bathrooms. So if you're excited to see how our bathrooms turn out for fall, go ahead, hit that thumbs up button for me and also consider subscribing. So let's go ahead and get to decorating. So here is a look at our guest bathroom. I've already cleared everything off of the shelves and off of our vanity top and I've cleaned everything. So I am ready to start adding little vignettes. I like to add a couple on the vanity as well as to decorate these floating shelves. As you can see, one of my favorite pieces for keeping here on our floating shelves is this cute little sign from Amazon. And here I'm showing you a little trick that I use so that it doesn't fall over is to use those command strips that are Velcro. That way I can remove it to clean as well as change it out if I want to. So let's go ahead and just decorate these shelves and just add little pops of fall throughout. Another Amazon find is this cute little soaps enamel bowl and what I'd like to do is just create a small little flower arrangement. So to the bottom I added some Spanish moss to really hold in your stems. Then I'm taking just an old greenery that I had and pulling off the leaves. I love the color that they have, the purple and the burnt orange. So I'm just scattering them around and then I'm going to stick in some fall flowers. And I think this just makes a cute little arrangement that will fit perfectly on those floating shelves. picked up these picks last year from Hobby Lobby, but I didn't really like the flower, so I'm going to go ahead and just remove that. And then I'm creating another fall arrangement that is going to crisscross that one on top, and that's a tip that I have for you when creating a balanced look, is to make sure that you're crisscrossing from left to right to really just create a more cohesive look. Now it's the perfect time to add all of those cute little pumpkins and I'm really loving that black and white combination that I've been using for this year. So I filled up the truck with some black and white and then I'm also adding some DIY pumpkins that are made just like my sweater pumpkins. So if you happen to miss that video, I'll go ahead and link that up above for you so you can go check that out. For the vanity top, I thought it would be a cute spot to add a tiered tray. And if you've been around for a while, you know how I love my tiered trays and how I love to decorate them. Here, I want to add some of my smaller galvanized pieces so that it ties in and coordinates really well with the truck that is on the floating shelves. I also have a small little sign there that says gather and give thanks, and that came from Amazon. Remember, be sure to check out the links that I have down in the description box for any of the items that I've mentioned that are from Amazon.
I'm also adding in a seasonal hand soap. This one is the Acorn Spice from Mrs. Myers. I love this scent and I actually really appreciate the packaging that it's neutral and goes with all of my fall decor. As you can see, I'm adding in a new hand towel just to bring in more of that black and white. This is from the Threshold brand at Target. And then I wanna add another vignette and I like to work in a grouping of three so I'm adding a flower arrangement with some stems that were from Hobby Lobby then a candle with that pumpkin marshmallow scent and then this cute little pumpkin that I found at Target we are moving right along and almost finished with our guest bathroom, but there's one area that I still think needs a little touch of fall, and that is here in front of our tub. It's against that blank wall and is really the first area that you see. So I think adding just a cute little vignette here will really draw your eye in and be the finishing touch for our guest bathroom. Okay friends, let's remember what the room looked like before. And here it is after with all the fall colors that complements and flows with the rest of our home. You'll have to let me know down in the comments what you think. Okay, so now let's move on to adding some fall decor to our powder room. Although it is itty bitty, it is the most used bathroom since it's the only one on our main living area and it is just adjacent to our family room. So the first piece that we'll be adding some fall decor to are these shelves that are from Decor Steels. I love coming up with different ways to style them, but I know that shelves can sometimes be difficult to decorate. But the one thing that I try to keep in mind is to incorporate pieces that are visually similar. As you see, I'm using this distressed pitcher that is from Amazon and combining that with this corbel that is also distressed but on our opposite shelf and also on opposite sides. That way everything looks balanced and coordinates really well with one another. I'm also using this apple cider scent room freshener, replacing one of those bottles and placing that in there. Next, I'm using these sconces that were from Kirkland's years ago, but I always like using these for autumn because of the color of the base. But as I placed them, I thought that the one needed elevated to just balance that top shelf. So another tip I have for you is to keep that cardboard insert, that painter's tape or box tape is surrounded and wrapped around. I use these all the time to elevate my decor and make the perfect riser. top of our toilet tank I wanted to make a floral arrangement so I'm starting out with this basket that I found at Walmart along with some various florals to really just fill it up and make it feel nice and lush. Then I'll be coming back in with some Target Dollar Spot pumpkins along with a buffalo plaid pumpkin that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. If you're enjoying today's video and find it helpful, I'd appreciate if you give me a big thumbs up. Here on my channel, my goal is for you to leave here with inspiration, motivation, and encouragement. And the way that I like to encourage you is with 
scripture. So today's Bible verse comes from Psalm 46, 5. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. So I hope that this gives you comfort knowing that he is there to support you. You are never alone and he will give you strength for a new day, even in the toughest times. Again, I'm going ahead and switching out our hand towel for that same one that I picked up from Target and that I used in our guest bathroom. And I love that black detail that just brings in that black and white that I'm trying to incorporate throughout our home this year for fall. And so now it's time to decorate the tops of the vanity. Again, I'm going to create a vignette and I like to stick with odd numbers. So again, I'm working with three items. That milk can was from Hobby Lobby. And then this is the largest of three closures that I picked up from Amazon. And the acorns that were in a package of four from Hobby Lobby fit perfectly inside. So I definitely wanted to display that along with just a small little buffalo plaid pumpkin. For the other side of the vanity, I wanted to incorporate this new find from Hobby Lobby in the floral section for only $9.99. I thought this jug really brought in tons of texture. Then I'll be adding this beautiful natural floral. I love the color of this. I'll just be cutting this down to size so that it fits nicely into the jug. I first tried scissors, but that didn't work, but I found that the wire cutters cut that very nicely. So to ground this vignette, I'm using this adorable little footed tray in the fall section at Hobby Lobby for only $7.99. Then of course, adding that beautiful flower arrangement. Then I ran across this adorable little owl with the buffalo plaid and just had to have it. I love incorporating something that would make somebody laugh and it definitely made me chuckle. So for this vignette, I call it good. So let's take a quick look back at what the powder room looked like before. And here it is now after adding all of the fall touches. Okay friends, I'll leave you here with a few final shots of both completed bathrooms all decorated for fall. You'll have to let me know if you plan to decorate your bathrooms for fall. If you enjoyed watching, please leave me a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing lots more fun decorating in the future. Just a reminder, my fall home tour will be coming soon, so be on the lookout. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you back for my next one. Take care, friends, and God bless. Bye.